Hey, it's a cat wolf, and I have returned from a trip to the nether, getting nether gold, and I just wanted to show you the difference between uh, the way that you process it. So if you've got a silk touch pickaxe, then you will end up with a block of netherite gold like this. So let's compare the different ways that we can do it. So let's put one in there and see what happens. And we, let's double check, we don't have any, we don't have any gold ingots in there. So we're just using a stone pickaxe to see how many, in, um, how many gold nuggets we get. So we've got four. That's uh, not ideal. So let's put those four there. Now let's go with the super amazing fortune three pickaxe and see what we get. So the same thing, huh, we only got two. How bizarre, because I have, I've never seen that little. Interesting. So I got 12 last time I did it. There we go, see, so sometimes you get huge amounts and sometimes not much at all. But if you put it through here, you get, essentially you get nine every time because if we look at it in here, so nine gold nuggets is one gold ingot. So if you wanna make sure that you get essentially nine each time, if you do have a silk touch pickaxe, then you're much better to pick it up um, yeah, particularly given that that Fortune 3 one only got a 2, so clearly it's a wide range. Alright, so just a useful tip for when you're going, uh, plus also if you are collecting from the nether, as you're, as you're getting these blocks, you're picking up these individual blocks, well it's a lot easier to store one of these than... and bring it home and get nine, then to store nine uh, gold nuggets. So get yourself a silk touch pickaxe, and when you're going into the nether and you're needing gold for things like netherite and all the gold things, golden rails, etc., uh, use a silk touch pickaxe and pick up these, and then when you come back, put them through the smelter. All right, I hope you found this one useful, and I will see you in the next one.